to be extremely clear. The safest place for our children is in a school building. It's back to class and back to coronavirus problems for our public schools. Increased virus testing and fewer classroom closures are promises from New York City's new mayor, Eric Adams. But on the first day back, parents tell us there are already major issues with teachers calling in sick and other necessary staff not showing up to school. The teacher called in sick and the paraprofessional that's supposed to be with her the entire time called in sick. Nobody made me aware. Come to find out the principal was literally in her classroom babysitting them because she didn't and she didn't receive any education because of this. Noor Mohammed's daughter is a third grader in Brooklyn who has an individualized education plan to better meet her learning needs. Despite Mayor Adams' insistence that students would have a proper education during the pandemic, parents say there are lots of students already falling through the cracks. I was watching the news and saw that Mayor um, Adams and uh, the chancellor said that everything was great, that they had all these extra staffing. I was very upset to come to find out that my child did not get an education today. So what is the point of any of this? Teachers union officials are confident they have enough supplies, virus tests, and vaccinated faculty to make going back to school safe. But when it comes to keeping schools open, union representatives say it's easier said than done. Some New York schools didn't open at all at this first day. And across the border over in Connecticut, several entire school districts are staying closed for the time being, with COVID cases running rampant. You have things that will slip through the cracks, and we're going to find out what happened there. Um, we, the message is clear from us. Our schools are open. And if uh, principals need support, uh, they should reach out to the Situation Room.